Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you can tell, we're probably can, but I'm filming on my phone because I am in Florida for the week and I realized after I booked the trip, well, I came here to surprise my dad for his birthday. So I'm here for the week with Chris and we're here until the 22nd of October. Today is the 18th, which is this day. I pre-ordered this book literally when she first came out. They pre-ordered it. It was coming on October 18th and I was so excited for it and then I got here and I was like, oh wait, I'm not home to get that. So it's still delivering at home so I'm gonna have another version of it so I'm either gonna return it or maybe I'll send it to someone who wants it. I went to Barnes yesterday because I, they said they had it in stock and I thought that it came out yesterday so I went in and they were like, we can't sell it to you till tomorrow. So I went back today and I did get it. I didn't bother reading the first one or rereading the first one. I read It Ends With Us over two years ago at this point enjoyed that book so much and it was like right when I was getting more hype but before the whole blow up of it I have such a high view of the book and I really enjoyed it the first time I read it I remember giving it like maybe four or five stars I loved the storyline I loved how it kind of tricked me and manipulated me but I didn't want to reread it I was going to but I didn't want to reread it because I felt like my view might change and I might not like the book as much as I thought that I did and I don't want that to happen so I don't remember specific points of the book but I remember majority of it plus it's been going around for so long like I see it literally everywhere so I know everyone's opinions on it and what it's about obviously but it's been a while since the first one but i just read the back of this this is it starts with us by colleen hoover i've decided to vlog this this week not this week i'm probably gonna binge this book but i'm gonna do a spoiler free reading vlog for you guys i'm gonna read it obviously give you my thoughts my opinions spoiler free though but at the end i'll have this little spoiler section and maybe if i have anything to say that's spoiler i'll talk to you guys about so you can wait till the end maybe that'll be there i don't know but it's gonna be a phone vlog i'm so sorry i didn't bring my camera i wasn't planning on vlogging this week but i forgot that this book came out and i wanted to vlog my thoughts reactions review all that i am excited to read it this is not a prequel to it ends with us it's the sequel of what happens after lily and atlas and ryle and everything the thing is with this one it's dual point of view so you get lily and atlas ryle is still a controlling ex-husband doesn't want her to date atlas but the thing is at the end of the first book happy ending you know lily and atlas were you don't see them back together but you say you see them like get, being able to connect again so i thought that by the end of that they would have started their life together but apparently they didn't because this says she's been co-parenting with ryle or whatever and then nearly two years after they last spoke she finally has time to go on a date with him so excited to see where this goes i'm gonna be completely honest i didn't love atlas in the first book i don't think we got enough of him i didn't really like him i liked ryle until you know what happened i love colleen's writing we know this so let's see how this goes should we read the first sentence together? It's in Atlas's point of view, first chapter. The way asshole is misspelled in red spray paint across the back door of Vibs makes me think of my mother. Colleen always has great first sentences, so okay. I'm gonna start it. I have a weird feeling I'm, I'm not gonna like it. I don't know why I have this feeling. I feel like I'm gonna like it and the writing and everything because I just love Colleen's writing, but I just don't think I'm gonna like this story. I feel like this was good, but we could have left it, you know what I mean? But I understand why there's a second one because the hype. It just makes sense. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read and I will let you know. pages 114 okay let's start off with, i'll say it's like not boring but like i feel like i knew what was gonna happen in this book like it's very predictable obviously because we already know the characters and how they act all of those kinds of things but i do like that we're getting more of atlas obviously it's in his point of view you see how he thinks his life more we got more background on his life as well which i really liked that part I'm enjoying, but Ryle, obviously, I just, I hate reading about him. I hate it. I hate any scene he's in. But now he, like, scares me. Alyssa and Marshall, I really like. Alyssa is Ryle's sister, and Marshall's her husband, but they're, like, Alyssa's also Lily's best friend. I love them. They're really great friends. I'm kind of just, like, a little bored of it. I just feel like nothing crazy is gonna happen. It's just a sequel. We're just getting more of them. And did I need more of them, like, personally? No. I know a lot of people are, like, obsessed with it ends with us, so, like, this is probably great for them. But, like, personally, I don't know. I could have done without reading it. That's not to say that it's really bad. Like, obviously, Colleen's writing is, it's good for me. It's easy to read, easy to follow along with. Do you know what I mean? Nothing crazy is happening. I mean, I know, I have a feeling of what's gonna happen, the timeline of what's gonna happen. I feel like I know. I feel like it's a little predictable, but it's fine. I'm gonna keep reading. Nothing really crazy has happened, just, like, the, the setup of the book, I feel like. We got more background on Atlas. There's stuff that's happen or been said with Ryle and Lily and stuff but crazy decisions have to be made not crazy big decisions I will update you guys when I get further in and we will see if my mind has changed if I don't like it more if I like it more I don't know we'll see here 
the journal entries are back in this book and i like don't want to read them why do i have to reread them they're literally like three pages long maybe this one's the like, four pages of the same journal entry that i read in the first one i know i haven't read it ends with us in so long but i just i already know what happened with them when they were younger you know what i mean it's a good refresher so i've been like low-key skimming them like i know i like I know what it's about basically i feel like i should tell you guys that i don't know i just i keep reading and then i get to the journal entries that lily wrote and it ends with us i understand why it's in there so i like i know why journal entries are now in this one making sense i personally don't want to read them all so i'm gonna skim them but i should let you guys know that i don't know why but something actually right when i started reading again happened we found something else out or we found something out that i feel like will make this story more interesting so i'm liking that aspect a little bit more a little something that's being added to the story that was my update because i just the journal entries are they're feeling repetitive and long so well I'm gonna take back what I said about the journals. I mean, I read them, but it's good for context. I say read the journals. I mean, you can skip them a little. You need to know like, the essence of the journals, like what's going on, to like understand the context. Because I just like skipped one and then I kept reading and I was like, wait, huh? So yeah, low key take that back, but I am still like kind of skimming it, but also I still think that they're a little repetitive, a little long, but good for context. Read them if you want, you know, I'm not here to judge, but I just thought I should say before someone says, they're there for context, you need to read them. Like low key, I'm reading them. I just personally feel like I don't feel the need for them. Okay, goodbye. Things are going too well right now. I know something's about to happen and I don't want to read it because I don't like it. But we just got more of Lily and Atlas, which I really enjoy those parts. But obviously not everything could be all sunshine with these two. And I wish it could be for them because I just, I love them too, but it can't. So there's another character that was included in this story or a few, two more. I don't know, but I really like the two of them. Well, one of them I really like. The other one like just got introduced, but I'm really enjoying them. I think it's kind of like a fun inclusion. I had to stop and talk because I'm not waiting for something bad to happen. And I need a little bit of a break before I read that part because I know it's coming. Update you guys. I don't know how many pages are in this book. Let me check. I always have to check that. 320 and I'm on 200. I could do this math. I have 120 left. Try to finish today. Fingers crossed I do. I just read almost done with this chapter. Page 240. I love Atlas. I think I needed this book to be a Team Atlas, like completely. Not that I was Team Morale. I was no team after it ends with us, but Team Atlas has secured the spot. He's, he's too good to be true. Morale needs more than therapy. <laughs> Nothing crazy happens going on. I'm on chapter 28, page 242. I know something crazy is gonna have to happen, like 70 pages of just happiness. It's not how it's gonna happen. There's some stuff that needs to be worked out. I just can't wait for that happy ending. You know, I just, I really feel for them and they need it. I don't hope that Ryle gets a happy ending. I just hope that he gets like help you know other than that it's gotten better i will say that because in the beginning i was kind of bored i was like i know what's gonna happen i know how we're gonna get through this but like the events happening and the new characters and them working stuff out actually i'm like really enjoying it now I'm happy that i'm reading it for sure but i don't know did i need to read this i don't we'll figure it out i'll come to that conclusion when i finish the book but right now like i really like it after like 150 pages maybe you're almost halfway through the book like that's when i feel like it picks up and gets really good and that little interaction that i just read was really good and was needed i'm gonna stop talking i'm gonna keep reading I will let you know anything else that comes up. Like there's probably one more little scene that can get a little crazy, but we'll find out. So far, so good.
the book. Ending on a better note than when it started, for sure. I have notes in my notes app on my phone, but I'm filming on my phone, so we'll start with what's in my head first. Okay, at first I was like, I feel like I don't need to read this. I don't know. I wasn't really feeling it, but then like, oh, like I said, like halfway through, I was like more invested, and I was like, okay, like I'm excited for them. I want to see how this ends. I thought the whole book was going to be about Ryle kind of interfering with them. It was going to be more focused on like that, but I feel like it was definitely focused a lot on like Atlas and Lily and atlas specifically and less on the annoying parts of the book and like it was more on their relationship and like trying to figure it out after going through everything you know what i mean but i do feel like colleen did a really good job taking people's like advice for the book like i don't know i feel like she took what people thought about the first book and kind of put it into this one like everyone was saying myself included you don't get a lot of atlas in the first book how are people team atlas like you don't really get a lot of him like you get a lot of him in this book and you get a lot of his past his past comes back to him like there's so much on him in this book but i feel like it's she definitely listened on that part I also like the new character she included. I'm not gonna say like who it is, but one of the new characters was kind of making fun of Atlas, saying that we're the keep swimming to Lily at the end of the first book. And I feel like that's another funny thing that Colleen added because so many people were making fun of it. Like, why are you putting in a Finding Nemo reference in a deep book? He was like making fun of it. So it was like funny. You know, I also feel like Colleen made the characters more like black and white. Like, there's a lot of like people at the end of the first book still liking Ryle, not knowing their feelings on Atlas, iffy about the relationships going on, but like this kind of like settles everything. It's definitely the closure needed, even though there was closure at the end of it ends with us. This is like further. So, I feel like you don't need to read this if you don't want that further closure. Like, you're fine with the end of it ends with us. I am gonna say now, like, I am happy I read this. Like, I'm happy I have this closure. I loved seeing more of Atlas, so. That was really good. Love him. I don't know what I would rate it. It's definitely good. Like, I love Colleen's writing. I read it really quick. It was, like, iffy about the storyline in the beginning, but other than that, it was really good. I'd give it, like, three and a half stars. It's not, like, incredible. But it's definitely good. There's some iffy parts for me. I don't want to spoil anything, but if you think that you don't need to read it and you feel like you don't want to get into the second one, honestly, you don't have to. But if you're feeling it, I highly recommend it because it was good for what it's about. Okay, I'm gonna go look at my notes, see what else, if I missed anything. I'll be right back. Okay, now I've said everything I need to say. I will say I've read so many different authors and different genres and books and stuff at this point that like Colleen's still like one of my faves. Like, because I've read her majority, almost all of her books at this point, and I've enjoyed reading her books. I still do. I feel like I've low key grown out of them like there's so many other authors and books that i enjoy more but i still love reading her books you know what i mean i feel like i've expanded my horizons because i was so when i started like really loving all of her books anyway i did enjoy it by the end of it the beginning i was like still iffy but i'm happy that i read it those are my thoughts and um, let me know what you guys think about it please in the comments dm me again sorry that this was a phone vlog but i just it's all i had to deal with no it's all i had to do with really fun i actually had no spoilers for this video right there's nothing really in here that i wanted to say it's like spoilers so that's fun okay thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed i will see you hopefully in the next one bye